um, also that brings me to this uh, myth of, about the Bulgarian style of pulling in the Bulgaria and how the Bulgarians are working out. I can tell you, not everybody in Bulgarian is working out like crazy uh, three times per day, six times in the week. Um, for example, Krasimir Kostadinov, he is the guy who is doing that. He he made that popular. The, the original idea came from a um, weightlifting coach, very famous, uh, Ivana Bajiev. Okay. He was, did you hear this? Uh, do, you, do you know this name uh, about his method? I've heard someone say it before, but I'm not familiar. This was a long time ago. He passed away for a couple of years, unfortunately, but uh, he was the guy be responsible that the small uh, Bulgarian, we are uh, about uh, 7 million people. We're um, in this area against the Soviet Union, which is... Mm -hmm you know, Huge. Soviet Union, we are beating them, uh, getting gold medals and weightlifting. And the story behind is very, very simple. He he, is, he started to go in a sports school and he was laying down, doing one workout, resting, eating, sleeping, then the next day, next workout. And he was seeing his grandparents working so hard on the agriculture field every day, from the morning until the evening, doing the, the the work there and repeating every day. And he thought, I must be sporter. And my grandma is putting more work on the field than, than me. That's that's not okay. And he started uh, doing some creative experimenting, uh, doing uh, three workouts per day. And, um, and somehow he started getting, uh, getting stronger and uh, he was really famous coach and he picked up young people really young talented people and he started experimenting with them and really bringing a lot of load very high intensity three times per day but the truth is a lot of people didn't adapt he was not believing in uh, overtraining he was believing in in adaptation so yeah. you're putting the stress and your body should survive. And the way to survive is getting stronger, thick bones, thick yeah. issues. And he was doing exactly the, the, the workout was exactly focused on, on for example, weightlifting. You, you're doing the, 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 the weightlifting. You're not doing other exercises. Really exactly that what, what is the tournament. So we're competing arm wrestling. You're doing arm wrestling like crazy. Uh, three times per day, and so Krasi met in person this uh, this legendary coach over 15 years or 10 years ago, and talked to him, and then he starts going on the table. So yeah. there's two important things we should say here. There are a lot of people that don't adapt. They get injured. They are not able to adapt. Go away. Yeah. What you see. Out this genetic gifted individual able to handle this stress and getting champions. Yeah. And uh, Krasi is one of them. Boju is one. Bojidar Simeon who pulled yeah. Adam and lost. Yeah, I love him. Unfortunately. Um, then um, uh, Jordan Tsonev. Jordan Tsonev yeah. is one of the guys but then you have uh, different um, people like uh, Cvetan Gashevsky, the legendary Cvetan Gashevsky. Uh, he built many world champions. They are not, they are working also very intense, but not like this, this system. Yes. Yeah. So they are mixed around weightlifting, table training every day, very, very straight uh, workout, but not three times uh, morning. Uh, even until the evening three workouts and also very important uh, moment to be able to handle this training you have to be professional you have to sleep yeah. eat yeah. on point mm, there is no time for for a um, uh, job another job yeah. there is not uh, time for uh, distraction your discipline should be on point you have to sleep don't go out with your friends having fun and and uh, 
And I can tell you, Krasi, uh, your dance on of they uh, they have, in my point of view, the highest discipline to to be professionals and be able to to do that. Um, See this this right here, that right there is really the definition of of the difference in east in in east and west. The ability to be able to do that. Um, yes. Because yes. I, like, I look at I look at myself and like that I could fit that mold easily, but I have a thousand distractions. You know, like I would love to be able to just wake up, eat, sleep. You know, arm wrestle, train. That's it. I would love it. You know, but I I mean I think. I think depending on how you balance your life, I don't think it's totally impossible to do it. But three workouts a day is, is very hard to fit in while you're working. And they are not casual workouts. Yeah. yeah. They are workouts. Yeah. Um, and maybe uh, one thing I would like to add is um, that works when you are a strong person. So you're built strong you're some kind of like sasha you saw how sasha is built mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. mesomorph uh, mm -hmm. structure bringing a lot of power this this guy don't need a lot of weights to get stronger i yeah. i need the weights i need to to get muscles to to bring the, the strength on the table but these guys they have already so much strength and doing only table training they're bringing the the the, the straight in into the right uh, uh, Sasha direction also, and uh, Sasha also uh, trains with weights, doesn't he? Sasha is not in this group. Okay. Sasha, uh, so Sasha was. I saw Sasha for the first time. He was 15 years old. He looks like Apo Apollon. He was ripped in 15 years. Uh, he has um, his father uh, is uh, is a pretty good wrestler, classic wrestling. Yeah. And Sasha started wrestling very in very early age. He was mm -hmm. wrestling very hard workouts and he was so developed in 15. He was 15 years old, so developed, so ripped up. And Christo Drijakov, the, the main referee, uh, 2012 was a world champion in Brazil, getting first place, 70 kg. Absolutely in his, his he was uh, so, many, so around uh, in, in the 20s. Mm -hmm. Absolutely strong. Meeting Sasha in, the, in in one tournament in Bulgaria. Christo has a two mm -hmm. minutes match against Sasha with the with the right hand, which he was the current world champion two minutes two months before, and won really really hard. Sasha was only fifteen, and on the left hand he loses he loses to Sasha, mm -hmm. and we everybody Sasha was absolutely developed and uh, having this back, background from wrestling. Built for arm wrestling, uh, he's not so tall. You saw, but his hand, he, his hands are big. Yeah. The, the 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 measurement of the hands don't belong to a guy who is uh, uh, so yeah. tall. Um, he's very very special, and he started to work out in very intense with Krasi, but then he switched. He switched. He separated, and that's why he's very fresh actually. Um, his uh, tendons are are okay. He's smart. Uh, he's working out very smart. Yeah, I can tell that he he trains total body too. Like I oh, mean, definitely. He loves yeah. uh, weights and uh, he has own own gym and uh, mm -hmm. he's spending time and doing these body exercises. But then he's he complains uh, in the last uh, time we we talked to each other that. Uh, he complains that don't he don't have enough uh, enough sparring time quality sparring time because there's also a little bit uh, yeah you have crisis in the same town and and him but they are not necessarily working every time to each other sometimes they are working out I don't know what's happening there but not every Bulgarian is like uh, like Krasi and uh, Jordan song there are a lot of guys. There are something in between, and the Gashevsky uh, fraction building a lot of four champions. Mm -hmm.